Hi everyone! So I'm going to do an unboxing for, this is only their second box from the Hedgehog Hollow um, in their card making kits and I absolutely love these boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and um, take a peek inside. They really did an excellent job on this month's box. So um, you get uh, inside your box there's a little card that tells you everything that's inside the box and then there's also a little note on the back uh, from the owner of the company. Um, there's candy. And then if you're a regular subscriber, you either got the clear or the white embossing powder. And this, this box is an LDRS box. So pretty much everything in there is by uh, Little Darling's Rubber Stamps. So this is the uh, stamp and die set that was exclusive to Hedgehog Hollow. It's the Mini Winnie and Fury Fabulous. Then you get uh, either one of the other, this is Fairy Fantasy is the one that I got, or there was one called Love Letter, and it's a die set to make little envelopes. You get, um, this is called Tea Party Ink Cube Collection, and really cute, really pretty, uh, vibrant colors in there. And then um, this paper set, you get 12 sheets of Sweet Pea and 12 sheets of Pretty Perfect Paper. So a lot of paper in this, and I'm just going to lay them out so you can see how pretty they are. So this is kind of more of like an antique-y looking, love that. Lots of pinks and butterflies and flowers and like that's really, really pretty spring stuff going on here. And um, I love that plaid. And then a uh, little more bright colors, but still perfect for spring. And um, these are the ones that I'm going to use with the, the card that I'm going to make because I love these bright colors. That green was the thing that kind of caught my eye. And also you get, uh, these are for the card kit. So if you're a subscriber, there's tutorials that she sends to you um, with card uh, card making tutorials. And they always send you pretty much everything that you need besides the adhesives um, to make the cards that, that, that they send for the kit. So I've decided to make um, a like landscape style card. And I was thinking about using some of the flowers off of the the die set, the second die set, but I didn't end up using them because they ended up being too big for my card. I always have bigger ideas than the space I have to work in. So this is just a standard uh, size uh, five and a half by four and a quarter and I'm going to take my stitched rectangle dies and cut out two uh, bases for the card. So the pink will be um, the background and then the white is where I'm going to put all of my um, my little scene that I'm going to create. So first I'm going to stamp my uh, Minnie Winnie and her furry friend and the bow. And I'm going to use the LDRS Raven Black ink. Uh, it's a hybrid ink so it should work fine with my Copics. And uh, this is the Nina Sola White cardstock so I'm going to go ahead and stamp that and then set it aside to dry. I want to make sure it's completely dry before I start um, coloring it because even with really good inks and paper, if it's still wet, you're going to smear it. So this um, it's a really bright black color and uh, it, it covers really well. And I'm going to do two passes uh, mainly because uh, this is a brand new stamp set so sometimes it doesn't always pick up enough color to put it down on the paper. Um, after you use the stamps a couple times, then you never have to do this twice, but that's why I'm using my stamp platform is to make sure that I can go back over it a second time and get a really good crisp image. I'm also using um, some of the papers from the kit, and I'm using some of my own papers. Um, the pink is uh, just a papers that I got uh, called from My Color, and it's uh, I got it at Joann's. The green, I wanted to make some hills because I'm going to create a little scene. So I'm going to cut those out using that same die. And I ended up changing the background paper because I tried kind of making it kind of a blue sky and then I absolutely hated it and the paper um, was warping and I just didn't like it. So I ended up changing that later on. But uh, you get the idea about the hill. And then um, I'm going to go and color my images and I'm using Copics to color and I'm not going to show you the coloring because I'm a terrible colorer so I just do what I like um, which is what I think everybody should do but oh before I do that I am going to stamp 
inside the stamp set there's uh, little flowers and so I'm using the LDRS little little stamp colors that they gave us. I'm using the um, La La Lavender, there's a Pink Tutu and Key Lime Pie and I'm going to stamp out six of those little flowers and I'm going to use them as part of my um, my scene there. And I'm, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to go to my Copic collection and I'm going to try to find the Copics that match these colors as best I can because I want to color them in and then use my white gel pen to highlight the, the flowers. So once I'm uh, done coloring everything, then we'll put the whole scene together. Here's everything all done. And um, so I've cut out some grass and I have my sentiment, just the beginning parts of my sentiment, which I used white embossing powder on and it's using the same colored cardstock that I used for the grass. I cut out a couple of clouds uh, and that little heart came from the cloud and I thought it would be cute on the furry friend's little collar there so I put a little heart on his collar. And the colors for the Copics that I used was just me taking my um, my paper to my colors and then finding things that matched. So you can't really see it on her dress unless you get really close but there's green in there and it's the same color that I used for the flowers. So the pink and the green from the flowers is what I used for her dress. So now I'm just gonna um, start putting together my scene. I'm gonna put the my little hill on and I decided to only use one hill because the, it was just getting too crowded. When I was trying to scene build and decide where everything was gonna go the two hills was just too much. So this one I'm gonna do directly on the the background paper and then the grass I'm gonna pop up with some little um, foam adhesives because I want her and the puppy and some of the stuff I want it kinda both behind and on top of the grass. So I'm gonna adhere the grass with the pop-ups and I will trim all that down after. It's easier to just put it on and trim it than it is to try to figure out the size because you're always short, well, at least I am. Now I'm going to put on my little characters and for her, for both of them, I'm going to have them flat on the page because they're behind the grassy area and then the flowers are going to be kind of um, popped up around them. So uh, both Winnie and her furry little friend will be behind the grass. I'm just figuring out where I want to put him. And then the flowers will be kind of scattered around the... Oh, wait, I'm gonna, also going to pop up her bow and put it in her hair. And my little flowers. A couple of them will be popped up and the rest will be sitting either on the grass or behind the grass. So this um, kit is adorable and uh, there's a great value, a lot of stuff in there. And I only get two kits now. I used to get a lot more, but I've kind of whittled it down to my favorites. And I'm really glad that I tried this one out. So like I said, this is only the second month. so um, And I pretty sure that she sells out of them pretty quickly so monthly subscription is the way to go on this one at least I think it is. Here go all my little flowers and the um, tutorials that you get with these card kits uh, last month's video tutorials for the cards were really cute so that she does a really good job on the t on the uh, video tutorials for cards so you don't have to try to figure it out on your own if you don't want to you can watch the videos and make some really cool cards on the videos my little clouds I didn't want them to get buried in the white background so I took some of the um, distress ink it's the milled lavender to just kind of barely kind of go around the edges just to give it a little bit of pop so you can s distinguish between the cloud and the white background you can barely see it, but it's just enough. And I'm just going to kind of tuck those behind my characters. I'm going to put pop this up my saying on the side. And it's I'm just going to leave it hanging off the edge until I put the card together. 
Then I want to um, pop up my panel. So I just got some fun foam, cut it down to size, and attach it to the back of my little panel here. I'm going to pop that up. And trim down my sentiment. And then put it on my card base. And that, oh, well, we still have to do the inside sentiment. I like using the fun foam um, because it's kind of, it's thinner and um, it makes it easier for shipping out all of your cards because I, I actually do really ship out these cards to my family and friends, birthdays, holidays, whatever. I just sent out a whole stash of Easter cards. Um, so uh, you can pick any of those, but since I put have a on the front, I decided to put Furtastic Day on the inside. And again, I'm using the Raven Black ink. Oh, I'm sorry, I used Furry Fabulous Day. So there's my card, it's all finished. And uh, I hope you get at least one idea from this kit. And if you wanna go get it, um, I'll leave a link below. You can go and check out her website. Here it is all done. Thank you for stopping by, have a great day.